Okay, again, some uh, a little bit of interactive stuff here. Um, now, for this session, I would be interested. Uh, I would be interested in, in two questions. So, for with the code six one zero three five seven, uh, you should be able to uh, access these two questions. So, the first one is. Do you offer uh, documents free of charge? Or does your land register doc uh, offer documents free of charge? At least some. It doesn't have to be uh, all of them, but uh, at least some. And then there is a second uh, question. Uh, do you also offer uh, non-authenticated -authentic access to the land register data? So please, again, go to menti.com and use uh, the code uh, which is uh, displayed here. Okay, well, I can see your, uh, the answers keep coming in. Uh, let, me just, uh, let me just do a quick um, question and answer session of, of the general questions we had uh, during the morning session, uh, I think. So these are now not sorted uh, questions, so forgive me for that. Uh, I will just go through them. So the first question is, what is the deadline to join the following project? Uh, so, as you have probably heard, there is uh, this uh, current call, uh, which includes um, LRI stuff, let me put it that way, uh, and the deadline for that call is June 13th. Uh, so, you will hear it after the break in one of the two uh, sessions that we, uh, we, Austria and Estonia, actually would like to do a follow-up. Uh, project. We have an idea how this can be drafted. We will uh, take a look at that uh, afterwards, and this will be the call where we would like uh, to join. Um, of course, there is not much point in doing another uh, project with uh, the same partners and the same content, of course, so we really hope that uh, some additional member states uh, will join, but then again, please be aware that the deadline uh, is coming quite soon. So it's a bit more than a month now, which is, I would say, uh, doable as we have done some preparation uh, already, but uh, still it, it's going to be uh, an intense four or five uh, weeks. Second question, could you confirm that the aim is that all countries will be interconnected? If the countries uh, is not participating, uh, is there a, 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 any deadline or an obligation, probably through the e-justice strategy or an EU uh, directive? Um, well, let me put it that way. I would say uh, the, the vision of, of uh, the Commission in general is, of course, that every uh, country in the long run uh, will participate in the land register uh, uh, interconnection. Of course, that would make the uh, most sense out of, um, uh, out of, out of this uh, system. Uh, but is there a deadline or, or an obligation uh, to do so? No, it isn't, but please correct me. Uh, if I'm wrong, uh, I'm guess you, I guess you are aware of that uh, the land register issue is, uh, is a competence of the member states, but not of the, uh, of the Commission. Therefore, the Commission is not even not entitled to, to give any kind of, of uh, deadline uh, or, or an obligation to do so. Uh, then we have a question, uh, one, two two questions probably uh, referring to our demonstrations uh, in, in the morning. So the first one was, um, why was the Inspire ID field not matched uh, for the search? Um, I have to admit, I don't completely follow. If, if anybody can follow, yes, please. Comment that. Um, in our Austrian forum, you had the Inspire ID, Did, was it so? No? Okay, then, then you get to explain it. In case of Estonia, as I mentioned, uh, this ty uh, type of data like Inspire ID is not used in land register. And uh, if it's uh, used in some other register, and we would have to connect with those in order to serve the search queries from LRI, that would be an entire new project with new uh, aims and goals. That's why it's not uh, included there for Estonia. And for Austria? Well, uh, basically, we, we don't have it. Uh, so, uh, I don't know uh, what the question are aiming for. Uh, 
because on a search form we don't have and we don't have the data on the uh, on the database level in the Austrian language system. Uh, what I think uh, uh, the question means is on one screen we uh, on one detail uh, we showed up uh, some data in the field which is called uh, uh, Inspire ID. Uh, this is you can call it some help help to uh, make the output visible. I think it was the name search where we thought in the test system we put there the name of the of the owner because nowhere else uh, we had the chance to present the name of the owner. You remember uh, there is no data structure available to to return the the name and it's nowhere on the screen. So for testing purposes we implemented uh, to show up the, the name of the owner in the field of Inspire ID. So it's only on the test level. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. I hope that answers the question. Um, next question was, uh, when we look from the parcel uh, ID, we don't see the information of the owner. There uh, is a link. So if I understood uh, correctly, uh, that uh, when, when you get the search result of the parcel ID, you will see the owner. And that somehow is it, there's a request or a question why the, the, the owner isn't linked. If I, I hope I get, uh, I, I got that right. Uh, well, yeah, in, in general, um, we provide no, not we provide, but in, in general, when you uh, go to the central LRI search uh, and you search for the data, you get the national data as it is. Uh, so every, uh, there is no, um, there is no information added to the data or any value added to the data uh, when it's been searched uh, via the, the central LRI. So this is really something that depends on, uh, on the national uh, 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 data. Huh? And uh, I have to admit, I don't know if the system is capable of, uh, of doing so. So it, to, to add additional uh, information where a link would be an additional information uh, or if it's uh, even possible to, to transfer that from, from uh, uh, national data. But I think the suggestion is a, a very good one. Because nowadays with artificial intelligence everywhere you see you have uh, data which is, uh, which is uh, matched, uh, which is uh, linked uh, as long as, as simil similarities or whatever uh, is, is discovered by some artificial intelligence. So I think that's a good way to go actually. I would also like to comment uh, on this one. Um, you uh, uh, remember probably that you search for the owner. Uh, perhaps you enter the name uh, Kevin Kruber, and then when you see the search results, uh, you have to remember which uh, person you search for. Uh, currently, the interface does not repeat your search so that you could see what you search for and what are the results. That was one of our uh, um, one of the issues we. Um, uh, made the commission aware that if uh, you're going to improve the interface, then um, let the person see the search uh, cr criteria above the search results, so that when you change the criteria, you see the results changing, so you can narrow it down to the final person you're really looking for. Currently, uh, it's uh, entirely, you have to go back, so it's a different page. That is something where you, you feel that um, I'm not maybe uh, using this uh, service uh, properly because I can't see what I'm looking mm. for. Yeah, but that's, that was what we discovered and we couldn't say, change it in our project, unfortunately. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Please use the microphone, thanks. I was written the, the question because uh, for me to, uh, in Belgium, we, we have the link between the, the, the real estate and uh, the owner. And I wanted to know if you have in your attribute this information or not. Mm -hmm. With Austria, I can say as far as I know that we don't, uh, we don't 
uh, linked information yet. Again, it's a very good uh, su suggestion. Uh, I have to admit, I'm not sure if the, the central LRI would be capable of retrieving the, the link and also presenting it as a, uh, as a link between uh, these uh, things. But I hope we have made that uh, clear throughout the day that we had a really good collaboration with the uh, Euro European Commission. They were quite open to such suggestions to improve uh, their own system. So that is something that we would, uh, would, would take into account as well in the future uh, to, to keep on going with improvement suggestions to the uh, European Commission and, uh, and, and yeah, working together with them uh, to, to improve the system in, in total. Okay, uh, last question, not to keep you too long away from, from your coffee, uh, which is about authorization. The authorization role will be provided nationally and could be different for each country. The authentication is, uh, is re reliable for each, by each country, I guess, uh, when a country validates the identity uh, of, the, of the requester. Is that correct? And I think that's, that's the case, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I can, I can just, show that. just a bit of exposition to that. Yeah, so basically that's the case. So the authentication in itself is done via the EIDAS infrastructure. So we get validated authentication information. Um, and then the authorization is done by not each country, but by each national identity provider. So in one country, as said before in the discussions uh, over there, could have, for example, Austria could have nine, let's say. And, and Estonia could have one, um, but in general, it's going to be like that. That the authorization and the product will also provide the authorization, and which is then checked at the LRI level if it matches, and there will be a matrix to show what happens which would, with which uh, system. Mm -hmm. But if there's any questions, we can talk in the coffee break directly. I was written this question uh, by by example. I have an ID in Belgium. And I have a, a different ID in Spain. How, how, how it's possible to, to link the, the both uh, person? <laughs> yeah, currently you might still have that from old times, but with the IDA structure, you would have uh, same IDs, and we encourage to use uh, like you would use your e electronic identity. The problem still arises if you have like a different identity, uh, like a ID identity in Belgium, for example, than to Spain, because you're different data sets are stored there, and you don't have your IDAS ID in, in included in that. But that's something that not we can solve, that's something that has to be solved over time. But in general, yeah, currently, if you have currently have one identity in Belgium and one in, 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 in Spain, you probably have two, like in, in governmental institutions, you have two IDs. In the future, we should all try to switch over to the IDAS standard as a identification uh, ID for the, the, the person in itself and then add on top of that uh, information regarding organization authorization and, and so on, so that we can actually, if I would switch over to work at Germany's uh, ministry, okay. they, then there would still be information out that was Dietmar who was there, okay. And, and we, we transfer this identification access with the <laughs> protocol SAM, uh, uh, like you, you have said, and um, it's a, a part of the product of the program stock that I was, uh, heard before, European uh, program Stork? Uh, Stork, yeah, uh, Stork, uh, I didn't hear it correctly. Yeah, uh, uh, Stork and, and the new, basically uh, building on top of it now, AI does basically use SAML as, SAML uses, uh, AI does use SAML as, as, as technology based, so it's the same system. That's why we can also use the same attributes and all the same security concerns already done for the citizen as a, the identification, not only citizen, and we can reuse that. So that is that is basically the same as with the IDOS, which actually follows up on Stork for, uh, for okay. uh, identification of citizens and in the future also, uh, like for your full roles. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, just a round up for the, uh, the two questions here. So uh, the questions, do you offer at least some documents free of charge? I see still some people voting, that's nice. Uh, <laughs> Manfred, was that you? <laughs> no. Uh, so there's uh, quite a lot of yeses there, actually. I didn't expect uh, that much. That is, uh, this, the, these answers are quite interesting because, uh, as you have seen today, for Austria and Estonia, we cannot, uh, in, in the, the demo, of course, but in the um, uh, pre-production environment right now, we cannot 
uh, no, sorry, of course in the production environment. We cannot offer uh, documents as long as there is uh, no uh, payment solution uh, in place. So uh, um, for an, an upcoming project, it would be nice to have some land register uh, in there that actually does not depend on a uh, on a payment uh, provider to, to deliver at least some uh, of its documents. And um, uh, for the second uh, question, do not forget to vote on that. So it's, uh, only uh, <laughs> uh, Okay, with bad connection probably. Okay, that's, that's too bad. Um, uh, yeah, but but still quite uh, quite interesting if if the tendency keeps uh, keeps the same. Uh, do you offer non-authenticated access to land register uh, data? There are also at least more uh, yeses than nos uh, up to now. Now the ten tendency is the same. Uh, so also because uh, of. Uh, uh, if, if, you, uh, um, uh, if you have an access like that where you don't need authentication, at least for some of the data, uh, again, uh, then we would not be dependent on an authorization and authentication um, uh, solution for a probably uh, upcoming, upcoming project. So we, we could demonstrate additional features uh, in, in the production system uh, as well there. 